Hey everyone, it's Theon Pro Pro here. Welcome to another episode of the scripting thing. And uh, in this episode, we're going to be learning how to make this. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin. Uh, first thing you want to do is go into your script editor. And just like the last episode, I have a little bit of code here. I will stamp a little image thing uh, of the code enlarged, so you, in case you can't see this. I'll probably just zoom in, but anyways, um, you can see how the code is. And from the beginning, like we had last time, we have a class, and then we have the name of the class. But this time, instead of scene base, this is scene menu base instead. So you have class, name of the class, greater or less than greater than sign, and then scene menu base. Uh, if you have not watched the last episode, I recommend watching it, otherwise you might end up really confused. Everything is case sensitive. So, uh, anyways, right here we have define start again, or definition start, super, and then we have create command window. Now, you guys may have noticed that from the last episode, when you just say, a, when you just give a name like this, it actually calls another definition. So, at the start, we're calling this definition. So, what we do is we, we call our command window. And underneath that we have set handlers. Now this might actually confuse some of you guys, so I'm gonna try and go over it. Okay, so if you look over here, we have OP1, OP2, OP3, and OP4. This is what this is setting to handle. So in other words, it's saying that if you've clicked this one, or like if you've clicked OP1, then it will do this method. I'll go ahead and explain what this is. See right here right here we have method and then like a a colon thing and we have return scene that's because in the original scene menu base return scene is just scene manager dot return and that's all that does that helps that actually that cancels the menu so that's how you get out of the menu if you have another def uh, definition you can call that so let's say we have def banana I don't know and we can have say scene manager dot call scene menu now if you were to use this and you would you would just type banana instead of uh, instead of the return scene but remember I have a colon before it so that's how that works I'm gonna undo all that now down here we have class CMD win as you can see that's what we call it here that's the window command or command window so we have uh, less than greater than sign window command which means it follows up with the same basic code as the window command here I'm pointing at my screen with my finger it's real genius so here we have super and this time it's a little bit different we don't necessarily set the size of it but instead we set the X and Y right here which zero zero is at the very top left of the screen DEF make command list this is important because it's I believe it's a part of the window command and it, it it's the very start of everything so we have make command list and then I have main right here. As you can see, it jumps to the definition of main. DEF return or uh, DEF window underscore width. Again, it's very case sensitive. And un window underscore height. You have return and then the width. And then down here you have return and the height. Uh, that that determines the width and the height of the window. You can have as many commands as you want here, but to make a new command, you have, all you have to do is do add underscore command. And in between quotes, you want to type the, what's in the box that you're selecting. And then you give it the option. In my case, I chose OP1, OP2, OP3, OP4. You can have many of them do the exact same option by copying, I believe. I uh, don't know about that. I have not tried that. But it should work. And as you can see here, we have the disabled one. How this works is, you see, after we have the OP, we have a comma, and then we have on. That just calls the definition of on. Let me show you what the game variable is. So this is your game variables, you go to control switches. This is game variable one, ASD. I'm just gonna name it real quick. So in other words, if ASD, because you can see dollar sign here, dollar sign game variables, and in, in between those little half square things, I just don't know what you call those, we have a one. That's the the number of the variable that you're referring to. And if it's not equal to five, meaning explanation mark and equal sign represents not equal to. So, if it's not equal to 5, it's going to be enabled. 
However, you can easily disable this option by making that variable 5 or by other conditions meeting. And to call it, you just do like I originally did before, scene manager call and in between parentheses you do the name of your scene, my command window. I'll show you what that does again. Butter. Yeah, so talking to her kind of triggers the variable. I'll show you how that is now. Is there? She turns ASD, she sets it to 5, so it disables that option. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this episode. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.